Mother f Yeah, it sound like some super hip theme music right Welcome, here. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my very first Halloween special. <laughs> and as you can see, my worst nightmares came true. Someone tried to break into my Lexus. Not cool. Now, I live in a nice neighborhood, but... Hi. I love you too. Okay, I'm happy for you. Now I live in a nice neighborhood, but these three punk ass teenagers decided to go around my neighborhood breaking into cars. Now, since this video was shot, they have been caught, so that's good news. I can go back to not worrying about these punk ass fools breaking into my shit. But anyways, because of it, I did go ahead and install security cameras all around the house, got an alarm system, and that's all I'm going to tell you because I got some other stuff, but you know, the less you know, the better. Alright, so of course on this episode, I'm going to have to replace this window. I've never replaced a window on a Lexus before, so wish me luck. I went ahead and ordered one from eBay, so let's get to work. Oh, yes. Good old eBay. Don't really know what I'm doing, but I have an idea. I miss one of these Allen screws for the window rack and it goes right there as soon as I took it off this slid right out and I was able to take off these these window fasteners the one there the bottom one one and one goes there oh there's bottom ones uh oh I better check the glass oh wait Crack here. Look for not a fill in here. Hmm. Oh, there it is. All right, there's the bottom one right there. And then the other one might be way down there. Oh, it's right there. Okay, let's get those out. All right, so in order to get these off, it was a little bit tricky. I had to put some, uh, I had to use my vice grips right here and then slowly turn this. When I put this back on, I'm gonna have to use some Loctite. This thing is proving harder than what I thought it would. I had to make a quick run to AutoZone to get some uh, Loctite for these knobs. Some of this uh, black 
leather strip adhesive to go in these parts right here. And I got some JB Weld because I believe I cracked this removing the window or it cracked when the window was broken. I don't know which one it was, to be honest with you. So maybe it's my fuck up, maybe not. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and JB Weld that. Uh, put this back on the track. Get these knobs put on. Put them on these. Get them back on the door. Also, off camera, I spent a good hour almost getting all the broken glass out of here so I think there still might be a little glass in there but I got most of it out so yeah that's where we're at so I won't bore you with the details I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get this knocked out okay so I did a little patchwork here to the to this uh, guard holder or whatever window holder rail holder I don't know what you call this thing anyways I uh, did a patch job uh, fingers crossed I hope it works if this doesn't work I'm gonna have to try to see if I can get my hands on a replacement one of these but uh, I used the JB weld and then I added some extra support with some uh, ABS plastic so it'll hold the weight hopefully and uh, so this is ready to go so now I'm gonna add the window glue and uh, get this track onto the glass. And then once it dries, put the window in. All right, so I added the window glue and I put some clamps. I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit. And uh, once it's fully dry, then I can try to put this window in. Fingers crossed, hopefully everything works out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is slide this glass in here. bolts on the track system right there.
this side track in. I still gotta get the other one in, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put the bolts in. I'm gonna put them kind of loose and I'll tighten them up later. I guess the trick to it was to put the glass in first on these bottom bolts and then put the tracks in. Tracks are good. Now I'm gonna have full up. Finally, there you have it. I 
have successfully replaced the broken glass on the Lexus LS 400. Not an easy task, not too hard, but did take a little doing. Uh, I did make a couple of mistakes which I had to correct. Thank God for two part glue. Yes. JB Rowe saved my ass on this one. But anyways, I was able to get the window switched out and I reached out to my tent guy, tinted it up immediately. So I'm back in business. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the ghouls and goblins going on in the background. And uh, yeah, I'm going to catch you on the next episode. I do not know what it's going to be. Uh, I know I said it all last year. I want to do the air ride, but I do got a couple of issues that I got to address on the Lexus first before I even start that stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I can't procrastinate anymore. It's getting hot. And people have been asking about my Lexus, so I want to get it in tip-top shape, finish up the stuff that I said I would do to it before I sell it, and get a new project. Probably another Lexus. Yeah. So take care. Happy Halloween. And you guys be careful out there for y'all that have kids. Make sure you keep an eye on those little suckers and whatever candy they're giving them. You know, Lysol, hand sanitizer, wear your masks, and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Peace.